Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and as always, thanks for stopping and thanks for watching. I know many of you may already be wondering, like, why am I sitting here with no makeup, no hair, no eyelashes, like, no nothing. And the reason is because today I wanted to do like a different type of video. I know that I'm supposed to be a beauty blogger and I'm new to the world of YouTube, but today I wanted to do something that was a little bit more representative of the real me and, and who I really am and just give you guys a chance to see me up close and personal. Today I want to talk about embracing imperfections, but I didn't want to just talk about it. I wanted to like be about it. You know, I didn't want to just talk about embracing perfections. I wanted to actually show you guys and, you know, starting with my own, like I have, you know, bags under my eyes and, you know, fine lines, wrinkles and frown lines and dark circles and, you know, gap teeth. Like I have imperfections or what some people will call imperfections, but you know, I had to learn how to embrace those things. Um, as a new beauty blogger and like many other beauty bloggers that you may watch, you don't you don't see them, you know, stripped down um, a lot of the time. Or if you do, it's for five seconds because they're getting ready to do a makeup tutorial or a skincare routine and the lighting is perfect and they probably put on filters and, you know, all of that good stuff. So today, I wanted to bring you something that was number one, true to who I am, and just something that was authentic so you guys would would know um, that I'm a real person, I'm a real woman. I would hope that the people who watch my channel can relate to me on some level. Like, I watch a lot of beauty gurus and Mitra B and Tierra Walker and You Love Next, and I love those women. But I've never seen any of my favorite beauty gurus just strip down and kind of just be vulnerable in a sense or naked almost in a sense. As a beauty blogger, you're going to see me like in full hair and makeup the majority of the time. But for me, I wanted to make sure that I have a, a balance, you know, and that that you guys can relate to me. Like, I want you to know, like, the real me. For me, that's also important because I feel like a lot of the time, you know, with YouTube and movies and TVs, reality TV, social media, we are so used to seeing these filter images and these Photoshop images that we start to use as a guide to compare ourselves by. I can say that honestly because I've done it. Um, I look at my beauty gurus and I look at them like, okay, so I need to do this. I need to get this makeup. If I can just contour like that, then I'll be as pretty as she is. Or, you know, I'm going to look like she does. But you're not going to look like that. Like, I don't care how you contour your face. You're not going to look like Tierra Walker at the end of it. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm having to learn that about myself. Like, you know, if you can put whatever kind of products you want on your hair, but you're not going to have mahogany curls. It's just not going to happen. And you have to learn how to deal with that. Like, social media is a beast. YouTube, the internet can be a beast. And you have to embrace yourself and embrace your imperfections and your flaws so you don't get caught up in trying to be or look like the next person. So I know that's what I want my channel to be about. And that's the reason I'm making this video today. Um, this is exactly how I went to work, by the way. This is what I wore. This is how I wore my hair. I didn't wear any makeup. Like, I literally came home and opened up my computer, and this is what I'm doing. This is how I'm coming to you now. It's kind of appropriate that I went to work, like, dry face today, because I had a really bad day at work. Not because I didn't wear makeup, but, um... I had a really bad day at work today, just like, I just, I was just off. I could not get together. My emotions have been, like, all over the place. I know they probably thought something was wrong with me at work today. I didn't say, like, two words to anybody, and I felt bad, but I couldn't, like, I couldn't shake it. I tried to pick myself up. I tried not to be in a bad mood. I tried to, like, take my little St. John wards, and it, it just... It wasn't like, helping. I don't know if it's because I got my period or 
I don't know what it was. Like, I got to start tracking my emotional like, days. You know, on certain days of your cycle, you be up and then you um, be down. So, yeah, I got to start but, tracking like, that. When I say my emotions were all over the place, I mean, one minute I was okay. Then the next minute I felt just sad, like uncontrollably sad, like fear. Then and I felt and ugly. Like, I felt inspired. Un- I felt so unmotivated. I felt like I just could not get it together. And nothing bad happened. You know what I'm saying? And then it was and like to the point. If I one like, more person called, if one more thing happens, I'm just going to lose my mind. And I did. I ended up getting off work. I got in my car. I'm and driving home. <laughs> um, I start, It started out, I was praying. I was like talking. I'm in the car. I'm praying, talking to God. And before I knew it, tears just streaming down my face. Like bawling. Like to the point where I can't speak. Like I'm driving and crying. And tears are just coming down my face. I know the people in the next car was like, what is wrong with that lady? But like. I, I'm telling y'all, like, but it felt so good. Like, I needed that purge, you know, because I don't cry a lot because I don't like to cry because to me, when I cry, that makes me feel vulnerable. And I associate vulnerability with weakness. And I know that's probably not the right thing to do, but that's Deja, you know. I would that's rather me. be pissed off than to be sad because if I'm mad at you, I can, I can, I know how to handle that. I can deal with that and I can move on with my life. But if I'm sad, like, I feel like he can hurt me and I feel vulnerable and I feel weak and I don't like to feel, I don't like to feel weak. But basically, I just wanted to bring you all this video today because I needed to vent and I needed to just feel like somebody was listening to me. And that's one of the beautiful things of this whole world of YouTube because I feel like you guys listen to me because you guys comment and you DM me and you you like me and you know like I've I've made relationships with a lot of you and um, a lot of you are young women and young ladies and young girls and um, I feel like I just what I want to do with my channel or this platform if you will is just to put out, you know, positivity and um, just feel free to connect with me. You know, you guys, like, I love when you guys leave me comments in the section uh, below. I do read them and you guys probably can attest that I actually, you know, I, I respond back, you know. Um, that's pretty much it. I just needed to get this off my chest today. So I thank you for allowing me the opportunity to be back here. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching, thank you for stopping, and I will see you guys in the next video.